This one starts in the 1750, the 1800 settlement when Louisville, Kentucky was settled. So between 1750 and 1840, British colonists and later United States citizens acquired and settled millions of square miles between the Appalachian Mountains and the Mississippi River. The Ohio River bisects this vast region flowing 981 miles from Fort Pitt, Pittsburgh to the Mississippi River with only one natural break in navigation at the rapids, misnamed the Falls of the Ohio to the north and the Old Northwest. Dozens of Native American societies coexisted with thinly scattered French fur trappers and traders. Far to the south, the five civilized Indian nations, the Choctaws, Cherokees, Chickasaw, Creeks, and Seminoles occupied most of the modern southern states. Kentucky was the crucial middle ground. The first American West settled after the French and Indian War, 1754 to 1763, by explorers and land-hungry pioneers primarily from Virginia, Pennsylvania, and North Carolina. However, the search for freedom and prosperity for some meant displacement and enslavement for others. Because Kentucky was an extension of Virginia, the state with the largest slave population in the nation, Kentucky was settled both by slaveholders and those in search of what Daniel Boone called a good poor man's country. Settlement was not without its challenges. The Iroquois Confederacy, the Shawnee, the Delaware, the Chickasaws, and the Cherokee all claimed some portion of the region and resisted settlement by launching frequent raids well into the 1780s one of which cost the life of Abraham Lincoln, grandfather of the future president at Longhorn Run near Louisville on May 19, 1786. So the Indians launched a raid that killed Abraham Lincoln, which was Abraham Lincoln's grandfather. So notwithstanding the dangers, the buzzle about Kentuck as a newfound paradise attracted thousands of hopeful settlers from the East seeking freedom and opportunity in the West. In 1778, General George Washington, then in command of the Continental Army, issued secret orders to Lieutenant George Rogers Clark to raise an army, descend the Ohio River, and attack Kaskia near modern St. Louis and other British strongholds in the Northwest Territory. Clark mustered roughly 150 men with whom, along with several families of settlers, he floated down the river from Pittsburgh, Risa Falls, of the Ohio on May 27, 1778, landed on Corn Island and his troops built block houses and cabins on June 26, 1778 with a portentous full solar eclipse in progress. He departed for Kaskia, where he won decisively and secured American ownership of the Northwest. In the spring of 1779, the settlers moved ashore and at the public meeting on April 17, 1779, established the town of Louisville and named in honor of Louis the 16th of France, who was the guy that got his head chopped off in the French Revolution. So Louisville is named after a failed authoritarian dictator, a failed authoritarian French dictator that doesn't compare to Napoleon. So he's not even a, one of the good dictators. He's one of the one that struggles. He was one of the aristocrat who wore beautiful golden coats and so anyways George Rogers Clark is credited with finding the founding of Louisville since he won the battle and cleared the Indians out. The history of Louisville from the beginning has many interlocking histories. British colonists and European immigrants, poor frontiersmen and members of the Virginia gentry with political and family connections that led to massive land grants all across the Appalachians seeking opportunities unavailable to them in the east. Although the falls determined the location of Louisville, the geography of the Ohio Valley near the falls determined for two generations the overall patterns of settlement in Jefferson County. Early settlements in the county radiated from a network of partially fortified stations. Settlers lived in or near such stations in which they sought refuge when threatened by Native American raiding parties. Steamboats appeared on the Ohio River in 1811 and by 1830 a canal coiled around the falls of the Ohio and Louisville evolved from a frontier outpost into the key city on the border between north and south. By 1850, Louisville was the 10th largest city in the nation, a thriving urban, mercantile, and industrial city, and a largely rural and agricultural state, which is true of today. We're like the 17th largest city in the nation, so we haven't dropped down that much, and we're still in a largely rural and agricultural state. So, it's a settlement.
of Louisville.